Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multiplying and dividing positive and negatives, and we want to find each quotient. So if I was given this quotient, negative 85 divided by negative 17. Again, I like to see it as a fraction. Negative 85 over negative 17. Negatives cancel, become positive, I'm done with them. I'm not going to deal with it. So now we have 85 and 17. Well, 17 is prime. Can't break it down. 85, I can't. I know 5 goes into 85. So if I have like an 85, I know 5 goes into it, but I don't know how many times. So I'm going to do some long division here. 5 goes into 85. Well, 5 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. I subtract it, and now I have a 3, right? 8 minus 5 is 3. I'm going to bring down this 5. And 5 goes into 35. Well, how many times does that happen? 5 into 35. Oh, that's 7, right? 7. 7 times 5 is 35. It goes in evenly, and we're done. So 5 times 17 is 85. Well, I can't break down 17 anymore, so 5 times 17 is what's left. So 85 is 5 times 17, which works out great, because now we just have 17 in the denominator. They cancel, right? The 17s cancel, and now we're left with 5 as our final answer. So again, let's recap. We had negative 85 divided by negative 17, right? I got uh, rewrote as a fraction, and then I solved both negatives, canceled them out because I don't like them, made it all positive. Okay? If I see two negatives, and then division, cancel. So I know 5 had to go into 85. So I tried to figure that out. I used long division. 5 into 17, or 5 into 85. 5 into 8, one time. 1 times 5 is 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Bring down the 5. 35. 5 goes into 35 7 times. 7 times 5 is negative. Uh, 35 is subtractive. We have 0 here. So we have 17. So 5 times 17 is 85. Divided by 17 is just 5. Our final answer, right? The 17's cancel, and now we're left with just 5 as our final answer.